Today is April 10th, 2024. At the time of recording this video, you'll probably be watching it a few days later or a week later. But I have this year done 101 days. We're 101 days into the year of semen retention. In this video, I'm going to share with you my personal experience of the first 101 days of 2024 and how you can use some of my own experience in your own life to master this lifestyle of semen retention and transmutation. Let's dive into it. Hi, my name is Nikula Daz, and I help men master their S3X energy so they can become powerhouses both in and outside the bedroom and ultimately unleash your conscious masculine ability. Everything that God, that nature has put inside of you is just waiting to come out, except your semen. So the last 101 days, I'm just reflecting on this uh, off the top of my mind as I reflect on the last 101 days. So first of all, to answer the question, the obvious question that many people ask, especially if they're new to the lifestyle, does that mean you haven't had S3X in the last 101 days? No, that's not what it means. Uh, It means that I have retained my semen, which means I have non-ejaculatory S3X. I experienced non-ejaculatory orgasms. Now, I'm going to do another video about celibacy in relationships or celibacy in marriage and why that can be important. And that's something that myself and my wife were taking on right now. Uh, but I'll save that for the next video. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and you uh, you know hit the bell so you don't uh, miss that video, especially if you're in a marriage and wondering, is there a benefit to doing that? So what has the one last 101 days been like? Well, first of all, it's been pretty even keel for me, and that's because I have a strong spiritual practice. First, the hardest days are the first seven to 10 days. So right after an ejaculation, you get what's called the chaser effect. It's actually anything that you do with a high dopamine spike, you'll notice this happens. So after an ejaculation, first of all, S3X gets a, gives us a ton of dopamine. It is uh, It gives us a ton of benefits. So real S3X actually has good health benefits. But what ends up happening is because it feels really good, there is this desire to do it again and do it again. Just like after smoking a joint, you might smoke a joint and then next thing you know, you're like, I want another one or have a drink. And next thing you know, you want another one. This is true for social media. It's true for Netflix, all kinds of things in this world that are stimulating us. The chief being S3X and ejaculation specifically for men. So when uh, I had my last ejaculation, which was uh, New Year's Eve, then uh, I started my 101 days. Now, I didn't mean to go 101 days. Essentially, I give myself, I regulate my own ejaculation to once a month. But as time has gone on and the years have gone on, it's become easier and easier. In fact, to the point where I don't even really want to ejaculate because I know how much it depletes me. I've also gotten used to living without that sensation, which has done tremendous for my mental focus and presence because I don't get easily taken off or pulled off into wild thoughts. Um, So by practicing semen retention, you'll know Notice one of the things that increases is how present you are and how focused you are. Now, every man should be interested in being more present and focused because that's how you're going to increase your wealth. That's how you're going to fulfill your destiny. That's how you're going to be more connected to God. That's how you're going to be a better lover when it is time for S3X. It's how you're going to be better in the uh, in your workouts in every aspect of your life. Focus is the key. So that's uh, that has gone up tremendously, especially now that we're moving past 100 days. So the first seven days to 10 days are the hardest. Then it becomes extra hard right about seven to 14 days. And I'm saying this because every man's different. Uh, Right around this time, you're going to get the high testosterone spike. Uh, And when you get a high testosterone spike, that's when you're going to feel this massive motivation generally to have S3X. This is where guys feel that high. They love semen retention. This is where athletes use this. This is where um, you can get a lot of motivation, where you can feel like you're going to conquer the world. And so I went 
went through that. And because I've been through that many times, I recognized it. And oh, I love it. It's like, yes, I'm on top of the world. Any challenge comes my way. I'm ready to conquer it. I feel good. And I feel like I'm ready to ready to rock the world. The challenge is, is that's when we can be the most susceptible to lusty thoughts or being tempted to give up our retention habit. So I use the process of alchemy to mitigate or transmute those energy. If you're new to my channel, alchemy is the technical aspects of transmuting. It's the breath work. It's the meditation. It's the Kegels. It's learning to draw energy up the main energy channels of your body. If you're interested in learning that, make sure you book some time with me on my calendar and I'll share with you that process to see if it resonates. But this is what's made the process easy. Guys who don't have a strong spiritual practice, who don't have an energy practice, they generally relapse after a few days, a few weeks. Most of them can't go 30 days. And if they do, they're frustrated the whole time. Now, have I experienced some S3X frustration along the way? Yes, I have. There are been days, especially in the morning when uh, I'm very aroused. I'm waking up at three, four o'clock in the morning. I'm rock solid. <laughs> and that's because I've got a lot of energy flowing through me. Uh, I'm eating well. I'm working out. I'm retaining. So guess what? My body's producing more testosterone. I'm losing body fat. I'm, uh, I've got a solid energy. And it, when most testosterone, about 90 to 95% of our testosterone is produced when we're sleeping. That's why it's a good sign. Every man should be waking up with a heart on. That is a good sign of health. It's a good sign of vitality. It's a good sign that your body's producing testosterone. Now, there has been some frustration in that uh, in that time period, but again, that's where I go to my practices, specifically grounding practices. So in weeks three of my alchemy training, you're going to learn these grounding practices that help you ground that energy for when surges of energy are coming through your system. So think of a ground in a plug. You've got a male prong, a female prong, and a ground. Well, your body is an electric circuit. So you've got the main male channel, which goes from the base of the body all the way up to the crown of the head. Uh, and then it actually ends at the roof of the mouth. And the main feminine channel uh, is from the tip of the tongue down the center of the body back to the base of the body, creating what's known as the microcosmic orbit or the main energy channels. And then you've got your main energy highway running right up in the center of your being uh, from the base of the body to the crown of the head. Those are your main energy channels, your masculine, feminine, and then you've got that all throughout your body. For example, in the inner part of your arm is your yin channel or masculine channel, or sorry, feminine channel, and then the yang channel is the outside of the arm. So this is happening all throughout your body. Your legs are your ground. Now, in an electric circuit, the ground is there to deal with a surge of energy so it doesn't overload the circuit. It grounds it into the earth, and the earth is a natural grounding mechanism. That's why there's the practice of grounding now, which I highly recommend, just taking your bare feet and walking around the earth. You'll notice how much better you feel, how much more grounded you feel. Well, in standing meditation, what we do is we stand in different postures. I teach you a flow where we stand in five different standing postures that allow your energy to flow downwards through your legs and ground yourself. So I've been using those practices to help with any S3X frustration or sometimes when I feel that real, oh, the hole in the wall is looking good right now, right? Because you just, you're a man, like I'm a man. I'm not like anything special. There's nothing special about any of us. We're all human. It's just that some of us learn how to work with subtle energy. Most of us don't. Uh, most men aren't even in their bodies. They're scrolling on Instagram. They're smoking dope. They're drinking alcohol. They're so checked out of their life that they're not grounded at all. And that's why they struggle in so many areas. See if that's you, because that was me for the longest time. And that's also true for women, but this is a men's channel. The more that you are checked out of your life, the more you're going to struggle. 
The more you're present and grounded in your life, the better decisions you're going to make and the more your natural gifts are going to come online. Your hobbies, your talents, your real desires are all going to show up. So yes, I've had um, some sexual frustration, but I've mitigated that with grounding. Now, what's awesome is that after I've passed about 60 days, 70 days, honestly, through the practices I teach, it's been quite easy. Um, S3X hasn't been that much on my mind, a little bit here and there, um, but I've been super focused on our business, helping men like yourself, growing our movement, and uh, it's been quite simple. Uh, especially now that I've gone past the 90-day marks. I've done 90 days before. uh, And what happens after 90 days is there's this psychological switch that I find happens where it just becomes like of a non-issue. It's kind of like a little bit like monk mode, as some guys would call it, right? Where it's just like, all right, you feel some sexual energy. That's cool. You move on. There's some challenges. That's cool. You move on you kind of start to become, uh, again, a little bit like a monk mode where you're like, all right, I've got some things to deal with. I can deal with it. It's all good. If I can retain for 101 days, then I can deal with that financial issue. Then I can deal with that uh, you know, bit of uncomfortability. That's why the practice of semen retention is so powerful. The goal isn't to retain your semen. The goal is is to become a powerful present man so that you can be effective in this world and you can develop your relationship with God and ultimately develop your spiritual life. That's the real essence of the practice. But it's the most powerful technique because it directly has you facing your lust and it directly grows your presence and therefore your power. So some guys are using it to improve their athleticism, to be amazing on the court or on the field or on the rink, whatever your your game is. I work with many business owners because I have a decade of business training and specifically sales and communication training. So I'm dealing and working with many leaders who are growing their organizations, who want to learn how to live more harmoniously, who want to balance their and learn to leverage their businesses and their movements while still being present at home. We're working with men who are on the spiritual path, who understand how lust is taking them away from their ultimate goal of having deeper spiritual realizations and connection and finding peace, contentment, and harmony. So if you fit into one of those categories or you're interested in learning in more about the practice of alchemy and retention and how you can do your own 101 days and beyond, then make sure you connect with me. Let's book some time. I'll take you through our process. If it resonates, we'll take the next step. And if it doesn't resonate, or if it's not for you, that's cool. I promise you there's a ton of value in connecting with me and pulling on the decade of experience I have training people of all different walks of life. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you never miss a video, and I'll see you on our next video.